Oh my fuck. Ah. Ah, man, I am stuck, dude. Holy shit. How we live? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Charlie checking in. Coming at you all live this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Going on Sunday evening. What time is it? 4.28. 4.20. Sunday afternoon. I say it's 4.20 for a whole 10 minutes. It ain't 4.20 ain't over until it's 4.30. So, anyways, thank you for joining. Guys, I have been eating this it's been a freaking weekend. I know I, I got it wrong. It's been a freaking eating weekend, baby. I had me some fun, man. Probably gained about 10 pounds, man. I'm right. At, uh, I'm bloated, guys. And I got some bombs to drop for you all. Didn't know whether I was going to go live Friday, Saturday. I didn't expect to go live today. But I knew I had some heat in my hands that, uh, that uh that I really needed to uh uh oh god Michael's got a new girl kissing him. Ew my dude, like bro, Erica would whoop my ass. What is this? Is this Michael got oh look he's got ha ha him and Bridget are are are, are uh branching out. I swear to God, man. Oh, how come how come that girl looks like Kim or Lauren? That's weird. Is that for real? Have a look, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Michael went to a concert with the hooker. <laughs> is that how it went down? Oh, my God, dude. That is, oh, man, that, that is like the most pathetic, bro. Where you actually got to go on dates with other people. Why not just fucking break up? Honestly, I, I don't get it. Isn't that what a relationship is about? It's about finding that somebody that you want to go out to concerts with, that you want to fuck. That you want to have kids with, that you want to, that you want to, you know, all that shit. Holy shit, Bridget. How about that shit? He don't want to go out and have fun with you. No concerts with your, of course, Bridget's not no, not, not, Bridget not no fun anyway. I go show my country. Bridget's not any fun anyways, guys. You know, like one of the first things that I'll, that I, that I remember ever talking or uh, hearing from Bridget was like, you know how, you know, you know the, the whole bullshit. What up, Anne Marie in the house? Stacy, Nene, Bowser G, Rebecca, David, Bowser. You know how it is. You know, you get, you know, you're meeting somebody for the first time. You just kind of the small bullshit. Hey, chit chat, get to know you, man. You know, kind of, you know, who's your favorite actor? You know, what kind of music are you into? Guys, I asked Bridget what kind of fucking music was she into? I don't like music. She's like fucking Stewart from Mad TV. She didn't want any fucking weird, you know, she didn't want anybody she didn't know around her. She assumed they were weirdos. And like, yeah, what kind of music do you like? I like music. She probably like the kids bop. What's that? And that now that's what I call music volume kids. Anyways, we got a lot to get into tonight, man. We'll talk a little bit about a little bit more about Michael's new girlfriend. Congratulations. Michael, that's one step closer to the fucking edge, dude. I'm going to share this to Twitter and shit. Thank you all for joining. Okay, let me get to my let me get to my shit. New channel, swap over, swap. Not like Michael does his swapping. No, 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 no. Let me. I'm talking about just swapping user accounts. Oh well, that's kind of what Michael. That's Bridget and the user account, kind of the same thing. <laughs> Bridget, you're just a fucking placeholder. How about that shit? Wait till they sit there and they start comparing, like, who's Bridget got bounced up behind her, that Joseph guy, and Michael's got this prostitute right here. I bet they got to get together and, like, okay, you can't have this person. I'm jealous of that. Like, oh, my God. It's like it's like swapping Yogi, uh, Yogi, uh, Yogimon cards. Is it Yogimon? Yu-Gi-Oh? Bro, I'm a fucking old man. They are player swapping out them Yogimons. I fucking totally took Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon, and I fucking I made them fuck, and I called it Yu-Gi-Mon. Forgive me, guys. I'm all over the place tonight. Right now, I'm kind of like Michael's. I'm kind of like Michael and Bridget's relationship. I'm all over the fucking place, man. I'm here. I'm at concerts with other. The girls did it. Oh my god, is that that's where he fucking went to the death cab for cutie video? Ah! Oh! oh 
Oh my fucking god, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna die right now, Prince. Oh my fucking god, somebody just shoot me in the fucking head and get it over with, dude. This is Oh my god, dude. He he went to a highly emotional concert, dude. Like Death Cab for Cutie is some seriously dope. It's some serious dope, you know, for the emo, emo man. Am I am I wrong or right? I mean, I, I love Death Cab, you know what I mean? It's really some really good shit. But like that's the type of shit, you know what I'm saying, that that you're listening to crying in your car, you know. And it went, went going through the car wash or something where nobody fucking sees your tears or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God. <laughs> this is what it's like when pigs cry. I bet that I bet Michael had to fucking tip this prostitute extra. You know what I mean, Bowser? It says if you want to sleep, if you want to sleep at his show, Death Cab is where. Oh man. <clears throat> Well, you know, like, the thing about Death Cab is, I mean, you know, like, kind of, I mean, kind of, honestly, like, if you want to sleep, put on some Death Cab, bro, you know what I mean? Like, they've got, like, this, they've got this really mellow kind of Pink Floyd meets fucking Grateful Dead kind-ish, you know, it's like, a, it's like if Jerry Garcia stumped his toe and started crying on the mic, <laughs> then you'd, that, you'd have Death Cab for cutie. Yeah, in, in, a, in, a, in a sense, Grateful Dead is a little better. Does, did you, does anyone enjoy that analogy? I like that one. That was a good one. Let me share my link out right now, guys. Thank you all for joining. I love you all very much. How was your Sunday, guys? Did y'all have a good day with your family and friends and loved ones and all that shit? <laughs> By yourself, chilling. What's up, the best in the house, Bronx born? What's up, Bronx born? Where's she at? Bronx born. I could add Stacy and um, Bronx in the house right there. Strike hard. What's up? Put some put some uh, uh, some wrenches on y'all's belts right there. Thank y'all for joining. Fat Buster Samurai. What the fuck, bro? How you been, man? You ain't been around in a while. Or actually, you have been around. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm sorry. I saw you talking. You commented, what, yesterday on my, uh, on my, uh, fruit fruit, talking about the booberry. You say the booberry crunch doesn't hold its flavor too much anymore, huh? All right, let me go to my Twitter. Follow me, everybody, if you haven't yet. Taken Wolf. I am Taken. Oh, I'm looking at Erica's. Uh, I'm looking at Erica's wedding dress right now, but I'm not going to show you guys. It's not a wet. It's not the wedding dress. It's actually a dress that she's got for pictures that we're going to be making this weekend. Big picture weekend ahead of us, guys. Man, it's dropped fucking like 2,500 bones on a professional photographer slash uh, videographer, and uh, does very very nice work. And we're going out into the woods this weekend. Uh, to uh, um, to have our picture taken professionally in front of a a very small waterfall, but you know, small because it'll look better in pictures. We're gonna go hiking a few miles, do like three miles to a fucking waterfall where we will get to the waterfall, change our clothes, put on our 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 our, our picture shit, and then pose for pictures it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun it's gonna be interesting i don't know if i'll i don't know if i'm gonna vlog that experience or not yet i thought about it <clears throat> it's kind of a kind of a unique experience am i right let's go ahead and share this we live no oh uh, we are live i'm gonna do it right paste we are live To my Twitter, let's go to Facebook, share it on Facebook, we are live, and boom, show y'all this meme real quick that I, that I just seen here, reminding me of Fatty and them, oh, it's gone, where's it at, there it is, this applies to Fatty and Slob Mob and them so, so much, guys, look, I, I can do all things through spite, which strengthens me. Isn't that right? 
That sounded about right for Slob Mob and uh, Fatty and the rest of Slob Mob. Or just about any fucking, like, internet troll. Am I right? I can't get it. Uh, how did it, somebody, somebody told me that there was a trick that I could, to, to do where it would help zoom in for you guys. There we go. I can do all things through spite, which strengthened me. Ah, ha, ha. That applies to a lot of these motherfuckers out here, dude. There's a lot of spiteful, angry, non-living motherfuckers out here, dude. You know, and they, and they and they get to swiping daily, you know, on the internet, you know, uh, um, because they are upset with their own lives, bro. So they like to try to bring other people in on their shit into their own trash can, as it were. Um, and uh, and yeah, it would behoove you all to uh, to to remember that shit, man. Don't let that shit get to you, man, because. You know, uh, all the bullshit, you know, like people, the shit talk or whatever, you know, it's only as real as you let it get, you know, so. But on that note, did I say anything to Salvo? Haha, <laughs> I made fun of this Salvo, dude. Look at this dude. Oh, my God. I got to show you all this. Apparently, this guy got involved in the whole uh, McJugger Nuggets and Swift. Uh, uh bullshit and it was funny dude because this guy actually laughed at michael dude well, we're gonna get into this oh, too Ryan, look at that text right there not That's sure who this guy point. is he doesn't have like five thousand subscribers or something suit. look at that text That's he not actually normal. made fun of michael on keemstar live the other night uh calling michael out for fake tears and and uh bullshit like that, and uh, and it was hilarious. We're actually gonna share that. Uh, ha <laughs> Wesley Moore, Wesley Warren said, Why he looked like Mario? Uh, because he's busy cl uh, plumbing Keem's pipes. This is that's Keemstar's new bitch right there. This dude right here, hey man, what's that Tommy Hilfiger la fl flag doing with goddamn Teddy Fresh? I hate that. But yeah, this is Keemstar's uh, uh, new bitch. And I got to say, the guy was kind of funny. Dude, I'm going to show you all. He looks like Charlie Day a little bit. King of the Rats. Rock flag and eagle. He really does look like Charlie Day right there. Going America all over everyone's asses. But, uh, <laughs> but he really did go after Michael Hard. Like on a live stream in which like, I guess they didn't have it uh figured out dude uh um apparently well we'll get into it apparently but you know like apparently fucking uh mcjugger nuggets and uh swift have a, a a beef going on right now and uh michael got involved against his friend mcjugger nuggets oh shit like nobody fucking saw that one coming did we like how long has Michael and McJugger Nuggets been friends? You know, um, how much shit does McJugger Nuggets know on Michael? Like, you know, it's so funny. Like, Michael was so quick to roll over uh, on Ju uh, uh, Jesse and this, that, and a third. Uh, we're going to expand on it um, further. Oh. But Jesse has a lot of shit on Michael that I don't think Michael. I'm not so sure uh, as to how legitimate all this shit you know, quite frankly, it truly really is. Honestly, you know, we are talking about uh, career uh, YouTubers. You know what I mean, guys? Like, originally when I first went in, when I first heard about the whole thing, I felt, I found it maybe a bit kind of strange in how they would, you know, try to use like, kind of like an attack back and forth, kind of like transphobic type, uh, of a uh, storyline, I guess, as it were, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, to create some sort of attack angle whenever there's plenty of that in the world, you know, I would feel like, you know, these, these larger YouTubers that they would come together and they would use their platforms and their formats, you know, there's their large nets that they cast, you know, to, uh, to bring them more awareness, I guess, as it were. And, um, 
I, you know, I don't know. May, maybe we uh, the only awareness that it has that it has brought on is maybe I don't know. Um, that Jesse wasn't on board with a full one hundred percent, I guess, as it were. You know, um, that uh, you know that Jesse is a different person from what his uh, his community and fans may feel that. That that they may that they may think that he is. Oh, shocking! A YouTuber is not who the fuck they portray to be. I told y'all for years that fucking Jesse was an asshole. You know what I'm saying? A little fucking mighty mouse want to be self important. Fuck, sitting at the damn uh, the dining room table in his fucking oversized leather fucking jacket. You know what I'm saying? Lording over his father. Swear to God, every time that they were going to fucking talk, they were talking business and thinking of ideas. And Jesse's dad went to say something to Jesse. And I swear I told you all before, man, that right after this happened, that Michael started fucking doing it to dad. I really feel like Jesse, man, was like, yeah, man, you, you Michael, you own this shit, Michael. This is yours, not it. And then next thing you know, Michael started fucking lording over daddy, but did it, man. Like, I, I didn't see it. I'll be fucking open and, and clear with you. I did not see it. <clears throat> I was told, I, I wasn't even told, I heard it, Michael and dad outside talking. So what happened? I think I already told y'all before, but <clears throat> the whole, uh, the whole, uh, um, collaboration with McJuggernuggets and, and Kid Behind a Camera, Grandpa, Angry Grandpa and Angry Dad, you know, when the worlds collide, as they say, you know, when all that went down, they all got together. There was an initial meeting and uh, a meeting of the mega minds. You know what I mean? I think Jesse's just got a big ass head. You know what I mean? More so than a mega mind. But, you know, and, and you know, that 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 proven here with his recent actions. You know, Jesse thinks that he can fucking do and say whatever he wants. Apparently, if this is real, then this angle you know, stance is probably the most popular in that he feels that he said he feels that he's big this big fucking youtuber can do and say and act however he wants and to whoever he wants you know and maybe michael feels the same fucking way guys because how many times has fucking juggy fucking slapped michael around publicly how many times has michael or juggy went uh told michael straight up on video man just admit that it's fake Tell everyone that it's staged, Michael, and then not edited those clips out. In fact, kept them into the videos and then uploaded them to the internet. I can pull a couple up. What the fuck is Dougie going on, going on here? Uh -huh, we know Dougie, man. He's got uh, the old school mind uh, uh, thinking here. <coughs> you know. Eh, I don't know. Everybody has their own opinions. What did Dougie say? Uh, Emily, a.k.a. Oh, well, oh, yeah. Somebody just laughed at him just saying, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. So, what happened? Like, apparently, like, uh, uh, Juggy, J Jeff, Jesse, Jesse. Don't get myself in trouble. I, I don't give a fuck, honestly. Like, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not trying to create some social media bullshit. I'll say how I fucking feel, and I don't give a fuck who I fucking offend. Fuck it. I'm beyond all that shit. Like, the whole fucking, like, woke goddamn bullshit, you know what I'm saying? You know, keeping your tongue, blah, 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 blah to please people or whatever. Like, fuck that. I'm past all that shit. You know what I mean? What you hear from fucking me right now, you know, is this is how I really feel. You know what I mean? You know? And like I said, that being said, I support people, you know, doing and acting and choosing how they feel if you want me to call you fucking emily fine emily there you go i don't care want me to call you dog shit poo poo breath dog shit poo poo breath there you go you know you want me to call you chucky call you chucky bride of chucky bride of chucky you want me to call you dougie west i'll call you doggy dougie fucking west whatever i don't give a shit you know what i mean i mean names and shit are just fucking names labels and shit you know, the labels, uh, the label and the power to a name only has as much power as you give it. Understand? Like, Jeff is just a fucking name, too. The whole dead name thing. I'm sorry, man. Like, uh, first off, like, did Je like, I never even heard of dead name. Is that a rule that I must now abide by? 
You know what I mean? Like and all these new rules that are being fucking made up every goddamn day. You can't expect people to fucking know them. You know what I'm saying? We 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 missed the meeting. You know what I mean? Let me know. Okay, don't call you, you were Jeff. You know? Like, okay, sorry. Boom. All right, my, my bad. Guys, don't call him Jeff, dude. He's gonna fucking shit his diaper over. Emily's gonna shit her tampon. Guys, chill. <laughs> you know what I mean? Need to chill the fuck out, guys. Uh, watch out, Emily. Call him with Jeff, and she's gonna fucking shit her tampon. It's gonna come straight out of her asshole. Oh uh, man, it kind of reminds me of what's that? The Visitor. Has anyone watched The Visit yet? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, it was such a great fucking movie, dude. Dude was shitting his fucking diaper. Oh, man. Oh, man. But anyway, yeah, so, but apparently, Je like I said, okay, sorry, Jesse, uh, 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 like I said, whatever you want me to call you, I'll call you that, I don't give a fuck, you know, cool, you know, call me Charlie, I'm Charlie, I'm Charles, what, I, I don't care, I don't, you know, whatever. But, uh, uh, um, where am I at? Um, so apparently, yeah, well, as we all know, Jesse has, uh, uh, um, this, this little ego about him. Like I say, man, uh, I'll never forget the time that we had the whole, uh, uh McJugger Nuggets and behind the camera, uh, collaboration, angry grandpa collab. Fuck is that? Oh shit. The bikers are coming to beat me up. Here come Nick and the boys. Coming to whoop my ass. Guess mobs chopping up. <laughs> All right, but anyways. Uh, uh, yeah, so they're uh, grandpa and, and angry dad. They all meet up and, uh, uh, you know, they're trying to figure out, you know, how, how to move forward with this and create some content. And uh, Kai and Kendra in the house, what is up to you uh, with you? Um, uh, who is that? Uh, Naranyan says Michael refers to you as Jack Daniels. Why is that, man? Because I used to drink some fucking Jack Daniels. Because I used to like to drink. I used to get drunk. And when I drink, I would drink, um, brown liquor. I think Michael just calls Jack Daniels because it's two names. It's a guy's name, Jack Daniels. You know, it's not very creative of him. You know, but um, honestly, you know, I did drink a good bit of Jack Daniels and Evan Williams. You know, I, I used to drink a lot of the cheap liquors. Uh, you know, with Evan Williams, you can buy two liters. Was it come in, come in liter, whatever? Two liters as opposed to fucking one of uh, Jack Daniels, you know. So, um, you know, yeah, I was I, I was never really so much of a Jack Daniels man. <laughs> Uh, but that's why Michael calls me Jack Daniels because I drink or I used to drink anyway. I'm two, almost two and a half years sober now, guys. Oh, thank you so much. I'm still drinking these bangs though. Still banging out these bangs, but they are non-alcoholic. So just give me the energy that I need, um, uh, for these, uh, for these live streams. So. Ha ha ha, Karen Nicholson, what is up? Says, be careful, Charlie, telling us what you plan and you got people like Cotty Wrinkle. Ha 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 ha. Wrinkle trying to expose where you get married so she could put it in a vlog and say that you took her idea. Oh my God. Dude, how fucking, like, how, how, like, how fucking lowest common denominator is that? Like, how bored, how spiteful. Hold on a second. This is Rebecca right here. Where's it at? She was trying to fucking, uh, uh, she, she, uh, she was trying to predict that we were going to get married at this place called Pretty Place. Here you go. Re here you go, Rebecca. You can do all, you can do all things through spite, which strengthen you. I understand that. Cooter Wrinkle. Cooter Wrinkle can do all things through spite, which strengthens her. And that's her in the trash can right there. Spying on me and Erica. That's her in the trash can spying on Erica while Erica takes a pee pee. Jordan Yawn in the house. What's up, brother? Thank you so much, man. We went out shopping today and Erica got herself a tiara, got her some earrings. 
Packers. Uh, uh, some some more stuff for the pictures this weekend. Uh, Evil Queen Morticia says Cardi Wapple is obsessed. Yeah, I guess, you know, maybe I did mess up a little bit. We didn't say what waterfall that we're going to get our pictures taken at, though. So uh, I'm pretty sure that she won't be out there with her with her Nikon on full zoom, you know, trying to ruin our day. How about that shit, though, man? Like, that's what she lives to do. And not even, not so much like, dude, she's got her shit on private, on protect. Let's go here. Let me show you. <laughs> Where's she at? <laughs> oh, she's got me blocked. All right, let me go to my let me go to my troll account. Look, Cooter Wrinkle. Her tweets are on protect, yo. Her them things is on lock. She ain't getting no fucking love. Ain't that the best shit? I love that, man. I said it last time, dude, that she was damn. You know, they turned, like, she turned on me uh, uh, for some young, young strange. And slob mob, dude. And thought that she was going to, uh, who knows what she thought. I'm sure she thought that she was, that she wasn't going to have her shit on protect. You know what I mean? I'm sure that she thought, you know, she didn't expect, she didn't think that she wouldn't be in videos, live streaming every night. She really thought that her and, and, and uh, 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 Bareback were going to take over Steve Billings' uh, uh, job, his place. But as you all see, Steve is still over there kicking Fatty's ass right now on Twitter. Fucking him up. <laughs> and it's so fucking fun to see. I'm enjoying it. Oh, what's that? Which, by the way, speaking of Fatty, holy shit, y'all see that? It looks like Fatty may have brought a certain somebody back into his life, huh? Anybody see the picture of, uh, of Nicole back at Fatty's house with the kids? Which, I mean, I, first off, I got to say, you know, I mean, good for Nikki, you know what I mean? Going, uh, sucking it back up and learning her place. Going back to where she belongs, you know what I mean? And also, you know, it's, it's, it's a big up and a big props to, to, to Fatty as well, you know what I'm saying? Like, for him to be able to look past, you know, all the, uh, the cheating, you know, her sipping around with an underage man, was that it? And some underage dude that she was going to uh, be charged for pedophilia with. Um, but, man, I don't know if we're going to be able to forgive the fact, you know what I'm saying, uh, that you've exposed uh, uh, the fact that she beats her children the way that she does. How did how did the young son say that she beats down on, on, on his fucking, on like fucking King? She's like King Kong. Scoring points on the kid's fucking back. Beating the shit out of the children. Man, Isaac, you went fucking live. How much, man? You you aired your indignance and your fucking rage. So how badly those children were being treated by their own mothers. That that's why you kicked her out of the fucking house. Flash forward, what, a year and a half? Fatty ain't getting no love, no puss. He ain't moved on whatsoever. And uh, she comes crawling back. And he takes her. He's so hard up on some puss. And not being alone in that fucking hovel. Bro, what if we do? And, and not, not, not to mention the fact that fucking they live like right beside a fucking bar you know nikki's gonna be slipping out every goddamn chance she gets to fucking you know beer 30 slip out and have her a quick fucking cosmo what is the over under of the police being called within the next six months i say bravo man I said, Brent, let them get fucking back together, man. They're going to kill each other. 
they are going to absolutely fucking decimate one another until something serious happens. Something really fucking big is going to go down. You know, despite the, uh, the, the resentments, that shit's for real. The shit that they pulled on, that they threw at each other, for all open, live, in the, in the open. You know Nikki's going to have herself a drink. And it's that man, that fucking, those resentments and those angers are going to get in there. It's like, I can't believe that motherfucker called me a pedo. Yeah. And you know, did you really sleep with Cassidy? Fatty's over here fucking banging Nikki's sister just to piss Nikki off. Cassie's over there. Nikki's sister is over there banging Nikki's husband. Her, 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 her what, what, uh, brother-in-law? Isaac is literally her fucking brother-in-law. And she's banging him. She's banging her, her nephews and nieces' daddy. Her nephews and nieces in the living room watching TV. They're having fun time in the back. Both of them thinking about Nikki. And do you honestly think that that's just, just, it's gone now? We gonna wipe the slate clean, yo. How many times have y'all heard a motherfucker about wiping the slate clean? Guys, I'm not talking to you ladies out there, sorry. Guys. How many times have y'all wiped the slate clean just to have that mother crack back over your head? That fucking slate ain't never clean. You gotta learn to deal with that shit. It popping back up. How do you deal with it when that shit pops back up in, in arguments? Because you know that shit pops back up and you know you know what I'm talking about. I know you know what I'm talking about. Dan Ari O2. It's a death and it's a 1,000% is that a toxic relationship. Just like Michael and Bridges, their shit is no different. They're going out on dates with other people and shit. Getting their freak on with strangers and shit. Finding their love in all the wrong places. Because, they're, because it's not at home. It's not at home. They are not finding what they need to keep them at home and with each other. So they're straying. And once they find that person that they get both of that shit from the inside and the out, then then this shit, shit's over. Y'all wonder why Michael and Bridget have never gotten fucking married. Here you go. Because they can fucking barely stand each other because they are not a good couple. Because Michael is just doing all he fucking can to keep this bitch happy to, and enough to stay with him. This ain't up to Michael. Like, he, you know, shit, how, how long, how, how long has he been, I don't know. I don't know, I don't want to speculate too much. I know we have, I tell you what, we don't see Bridget going on, uh. Uh, dates or do we? we? We I guess we maybe they do. Like oh my god! Like it's a it's a it's a horrible situation, bro. That I'm glad that me and Erica. I'm telling you, man. I'm glad that me and Erica, you know, that we love each other. That we have found, you know, what we need, you know, in one another. That we're not out here, you know, combing the weeds, bro. Creating any sense of uh any, any any opportunity for you know failure and toxicity to leach into our relationship. You know what I mean? Um, let me show y'all guys right here. <laughs> so um so this McJugger Nuggets and and Emily feud was going down. Um, where you at, Pook? About the twenty four thirty mark. Okay, so Keemstar has a um, has a live stream cha uh, channel, uh, the Keemstar Show. 
uh, that, um, I, that he goes live with and he brings people on, I think, to substitute, you know, like yeah, when he's not sitting there fucking speaking the whole time. And I, he kind of doesn't speak at all. He kind of lets this fucking other guy just uh, riff and go. And the guy is kind of interesting. Kind of reminds me of, uh, like I say, Charlie Day from uh, Always Sunny a little bit. Kind of reminds me of uh, Shia LaBeouf, actually, a little bit right here. Young Shia LaBeouf from damn Even Stevens. No, there's a point of not being able to understand and a point of let me try doing what I think. Okay, so here we go. This is, oh, the, the, indigna the indignation show, guys. Like I got to tell you, man, like... It's starting to really crack me up. So many people out there. How hard these fuckers work. Check out this. Check out the setup, man. Look how fucking hard these fuckers work to stay goddamn mad all the time. I swear to fucking God, dude. People that like every fucking day they gotta they've gotta come on with with something new. Uh, 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 they've gotta they've gotta find something else to just be fucking angry and irate about and and to stir everybody fucking up body up about. And, uh, uh, you know, they, I don't know. I won't say that they, that they technically succeed because this is bad. This is like, this is not good. Like this is garbage entertainment. Look, it's fucking, it's that dude from stranger things versus uh screech from saved by the bell. Like that's not the celebrity boxing match that I was hoping for. So let's go here. For real, what was that? I think, I think it was Stranger Things. That fucker with the headphones and the glasses, or the headphones and then the weird eyes and the blonde hair and looking up. <sighs> Looks just like fucking Swift, dude. Who is that person? Who am I talking about, guys? Help me out here. What was that? Help me out here. Come on. What was that fucker? What's that weird fucker's name from Stranger? Is it, is it Stranger Things? Let's see, blonde hair, head. Headphones. I'm about to put in a vague description in Google. Uh, headphones. Milky eyes. And it's not going to show me. Anybody? Nobody's helped me out with that yet. Damn it. Ah, oh, shit. Anyways, I, I saw it the other day and I was like, that fucker looks like fucking Swift. I'm, maybe if I screenshot it. Let me see it. Uh, did I screenshot it? And I mean, it was just funny because, like, it was true. Let me see here. But yeah, it's so funny with Keem, dude. Like, that fucker, he always just tries to be fucking, like, angry and upset and bothered about every goddamn little thing. When, like, he is the most toxic motherfucker, like, on the platform. Like, like dude, he straight up, he straight up fucking pushed the etiquette kid into killing himself. Remember how many times did he tell Etika straight up, if you think this is a stimulation, well, then why don't you go off yourself? How many people is Keemstar straight up fucking labeled a pedophile without having zero proof? I'm one of them. Just because my sisters claimed, accused me of, don't mean shit. Don't mean, don't make a merry motherfucker. That uh, the there was an old man with a uh, long white hair and a long white beard that came, uh, uh, had done a number two once before. Who was that? And it turns out that that guy, you know, all that shit that Keem was pulling on him was completely false. And this came from damn Ethan, which I don't like. Ethan, Ethan's a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't like the whole fucking white guilt that he tries to throw off on to me. You know, I'm just over here trying to fucking work and live my life and be an honest, loving man to all, you know what I'm saying? And I don't need him fucking making me feel any type of way about myself, you know? You don't try to tell me about myself while you're fucking living up in L.A., you know, in your own fucking YouTube bubble. Fuck you, Ethan. Uh, but anyway, so let's scroll. Was it 2480 or something like that? 2430. She literally took, please, please pay attention. She said it at the very beginning. 24. 24. Okay. Okay. And so. Shut up. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is funny. Okay. So here we go. Roll it. No, this is, let's get more. It's not Nick Diorio, Chad. Oh, man. Come on. I'll have some of the crowd. 
All right, so what is this though? Like, is fun is uh, is Swift like damn live streaming from the closet? That is the what the shit is that? Of the story, and if I'm wrong, I'll. What's in a closet? Text me. What up, Miranda? Miranda in the house. You were not invisible. I'm just not. Sorry. Behind the camera, oh, which is a very popular YouTuber. Oh, he looks upset. Uh, <laughs> he's this is a I love this guy. This is evident. He's like, This kid he looks, looks upset. Very mad. I don't know who, like, someone's filming this for him. This guy's arms crossed. He's pissed. Roll it. <laughs> so, I am not really friends with McJuggernuggets anymore, but I was friends with him the night that Emily told him that she was trans transitioning into a woman and the first phone call that jesse made after emily told her that dark secret was me jesse facetimed me and it was him and his girlfriend and they said what is the absolute worst thing that you could think of about emily or, excuse me swift what is the worst thing that you could think about swift and i said i don't know he's a p-word and jesse said so, yeah, so you hear Michael said, oh, I don't know. Is he, is he a P word? Is he a pedophile? Is what Mike was trying to get at. <laughs> the same shit that Michael himself is uh, guilty of. How old was Michael whenever he hooked up with Bridget? 22. How old was Bridget? 14. I exactly need to go through the math again, but I will. Uh, I will. Uh, eyes on the fact the fact once again that michael age 22 year old fully adult male who took a 14 year old girl to an r-rated movie posed as her adult supervision showed his id and says she's with me i will be responsible for her mental state and blah 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 while she's in here watching this r-rated movie under my supervision that's how she got in and then while he was like, well, while I got my, while, while, you know, while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and uh, get on? Probably just tried to fucking arm, tried to wrestle her down there onto his cot. How did they say it went down? Like Michael said, he, she says that Michael pulled it out and, and, and grabbed her hand and kind of forced her hand. Uh, do we need to play it? Let's see here. Hold on. I can play the video where she describes it. Says, Michael, grab my hand. And he kind of forced me. He's like, he's like, no, that was the car. She's like, no, the car is where I did it. If that's not a P word. In fact, uh, Isaac, as a matter of fact, <laughs> I, I, I corrected myself. Isaac, as a matter of fact, um, even uh, uh, talks about uh, uh, that age, that age gap considers a pedophile. And I don't get it because. Uh, he, he, he said, like, let's, 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 let's go look real quick. I'm just going to have a look for a second. Where's it at, Fat Wad? I know you didn't delete it. Oh, he fucking deleted it. Where is it at? Oh, no, 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 I heard it. I heard it. It says, notice how Steve hasn't addressed the fact that he was 24, in love with, and dating a 16-year-old, but can still post memes. Look at this. Oh, look. This is Fatty trying to talk shit about Steve dating a 16-year-old, but he has no problem with Michael dating a 14-year-old. What about that? Michael was 22, banging a 14-year-old. So, uh, by your math, 24 and 16 uh, is considered to be a pedophile, right, Isaac? I'll agree with you there. And it's kind of right there on the limit. 16 is right there, you know, as far as legal standpoint, not my opinion. I say a woman should be, I say a girl and a, a, a girl and a fucking legal adult, you know, even, even guys until our, our mid-20s. They say that our brains don't fully function. You know, frontal lobes aren't fully fucking fun uh, function until we're, what, right in our 30s? Until we hit about 30? Yeah, I'd say all right, we, we can't, we're not legal age. We can't you know, fucking our brains up until they're fully formed, and that's around the age of 30. Can't vote. We can't drink. None of that shit. Why not? Push it. Make me feel young again. Actually, I, could, I would still be able to do it. 
Tommy says 25 approximately. So yeah, 25. Right after the, the full functioning of the brain, we all, you know, you know, it's we we have well enough sense in our heads and shit. All right, now we're legal enough. But according to Isaac, uh, uh um, you know, um, 24 and 16 uh, constitutes uh, pedophilia, which means that Michael and Bridget fall under that category. Right, Isaac? I mean, there's no dude. You literally you're saying it right fucking here, dude. You're putting the math out right there, and then you're inserting Steve. This is a math equation. This is it's like it's this is this is like trigonometry or some shit, you know, where Steve is X and the young girl is Y. Well, uh, and, and then the numbers in the middle are the determining the factors. We'll just go ahead and take Steve and girl out of there and put Michael and Bridget, and it's the same fucking equation. How about that shit? So let's go back over to uh let's, let's skip back over. This is fun. Let me check out Michael pontificating. That, but he kept going and his hand just trying to okay, pause it. He said a lot there. Do you want to break that down for the chat, Kim? I think we should listen to what's Look, worse. Look, all pissed words. off. Okay. I mean, finally Jesse told me that Emily. <laughs> that was the first little slap right there in Suavo's face. Whatever the fuck this nerd's name is, Charlie Day. Little Charlie's face. We'll call him Little Charlie. I'm Charlie, so he'll be Little Charlie. Little Charlie Day right here just got slapped in the face by Keemstar. Look, though, it's kind of funny, dude. He kind of looks like uh, kind of looks like Shia LaBeouf with uh, Keem's uh, wife's glasses on, though, which is another dig. Check it out. Like Keem takes a dig at this guy for wearing uh, female glasses while they're live streaming about transphobia or whatever or. What is that? Why can this guy not wear female glasses? I myself couldn't fucking stand the fact that people were always like, those are female glasses. I wear female glasses sometimes. I had, Erica had a pair of fucking uh, uh, brown ones, you know, with like a leopard type deal. And I loved, I loved them. I wore them. She couldn't stand them. I'm like, man, why? Why the fuck can't I wear them? Just because they're females. If I like it, I will always wear it. <laughs> so... There's that. Is a transgender. Okay. Now, right off the bat. Stop. This is why I'm saying this is not jokes. This is actually, uh, according to these witnesses, right, McJuggernuggets being transphobic. If he's saying that, you know, which, turning trans or whatever. Which, is, first off, okay, 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 okay. For, see, like, here, here's the, the, this, the indignation show, guys. This is fucking glorious, dude. Like, okay, so check, so check it out. What exactly did Jesse say? He he quote he quote unquote dead named. What is dead name? Like honestly, like like dude Emily, like your name Jeff Saxton is not dead. That name will never die. You know what I'm saying? Like that name will be in yearbooks and stuff. And I'm sorry, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. You had people back from school back in second grade that hasn't seen you since third and fourth grade. They're still gonna remember you. By, by Jeff, I'm sorry. It is what it is. And you'll have to be, oh, well, that's not me anymore. The whole blah, blah, blah. Guess what? It's not dead. I'm sorry. I mean, maybe it is. I, I'm, I'm sorry. You know what? I talked about time out. All right. Time, uh, I'm speaking out. Of, I'm speaking out of my league probably right here because I don't exactly know what the fuck is what, what it, what it means. You know what I mean? So. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. But that will. uh I don't know. Because like I say, I believe that Jeff did it. And I, I'm sorry, I, I go again. I believe that Jesse did it to be an asshole. Honestly, like there was no fucking oops. I didn't mean to. I didn't, you know, I forgot to edit it out or whatever. I truly believe that it was like a, 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 a targeted deal. You know what I mean? That being said, you know what I mean? In my opinion, you know, the idea of a dead name. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, as far as it being completely dead and non-existent anymore, I feel like it's you know it's it's wishful thinking. You know, it's like I mean it's 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 something that will never. I mean, you know, it will never happen. Like because you were born who you are. You know what I mean? And then you had to change that yourself. You know what I mean? But you know why would you? Why would you want to change history like that? 
You know what I mean? Like to to live with that shame. You know what I mean? Almost that. That's kind of that's a very shameful act. I almost feel like to you know. I don't want to be Charlie anymore. Don't ever call me that. That's a name that I don't want to look at. I don't associate with it. It's cut off right here. Well, it's not ever really cut off because you're living with that, that baggage. You know, I don't know, man. It's, 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 it's a lot, man. It's a lot to process. It's a lot to take in. And I normally, I don't, I don't step on this type of shit. You know what I mean? Cause like I say, overall, my stance is, <clears throat> excuse me. Overall, my stance is, you know, we are all humans. We all we we all have the right, should have the right to live our lives the way we want, express our love and ourselves and our, our emotions, however we feel we can. You know, this, this is the land of freedom, you know, of, well, once was the land of freedom. You know what I mean? We lose we lose our freedoms little by little, more and more each day. It is taken from us and, 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 and these freedoms and these rights are taken from us, you know, through, I feel, um, uh, uh, not, not, not fabricated feuds created amongst one another, but pushed, not, but pushed amongst one another. These, these feuds are always kind of right there, you know, that, are, that will always kind of, you know, remain, you know, you know, on the friction lines of when two societies somewhat rub against where two societies meet. There's always a certain amount of friction and shit. And with enough pushing, there's going to be conflict, you know. And I feel like people and the powers that be and the ones that people up up higher that want to control us and shit, they'll come around and they'll do that pushing. You know what I mean? The certain spots where they want fires created, where they can they where they can uh, create laws, create laws to put those fires out, you know. And, you know, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I feel, you know, I don't know. Ah, uh, like I don't know. It's because that I don't know. <laughs> like it's it's very tricky, guys. It is because like it's not to say that transphobia isn't real. It's very much much real. There are people that are you know. It's only it's only human nature that you know you know people fear. I was gonna say weed, but I don't fear. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, that people fear what they don't know, what they don't understand. You know what I mean? They tend to fear it, and fear is kind of coupled with anger, and they'll lash out. You understand what I mean, you know, and uh, um, so, yeah, you know, but there needs to be education. There doesn't need to be conflict. We don't need to fabric. We don't need to educate ourselves through conflict. We don't need people to to die. We don't need lines to be crossed and feelings to be hurt and and uh, uh, offenses to be uh, made for us to be educated, for us to learn, honestly. You know what I mean? But I feel like that's kind of been the the nature of uh, of humanity. You know, we never really, you know, we never really truly learn until we lose. You know what I mean? Until the atom bomb dropped. Boom! You know what I'm saying? And we saw this fucking large scale devastation. You know what I mean? And, and the devastation that still, you know, uh, uh, pervades today. Like you go look at Hiroshima and, and, and the surrounding was Hiro, Hiro, it was three areas. What Hiroshima, Nagasaki, and uh, oh, fuck, I can't remember the other one, but there was like three sites, three spots with three nukes that were actually dropped. And uh, to this day, there are children that are still born with de defects and shit. You know how much we fucking learn through that act of terrorism, not terrorism, but terror, act of war, that act of death, chaos, destruction. I just, I don't know. I don't it's know. worse than being a P word. Salvo, come on. Well, there's nothing worse. And also, P also, so Michael claims that Jesse called Michael up instantly and was like, hey, Michael, you know, this, that, and the third. I'm not saying that it didn't happen. But I'll tell you, I guarantee you, man, 99% chance that Michael sat there and joked with him. I bet you Jesse can go through his fucking phone right now. And show you the uh, text messages from Michael, where Michael is making damn uh, jokes about Emily, about Swift, whatever. Emily, I'll call her Emily. That's what she wants to be called. <clears throat> so, anyway, so let's get back to this. 
where they're using like like I say, Michael claims that damn Jesse called him up and talked all kinds of shit, said that uh, 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 trans was worse than being a pedophile. Um, this, that, and the third, you know, and none of this is proof, by the way. None of this is actual proven fact. This, my, this isn't Michael coming on and saying, here, here's where he said this. Here's where he said that. This is Michael just saying words. Uh, these are accusations, mind you. That, you know, once again, we all know how much Keemstar loves to, uh, 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 to hang a man over accusation. It's a witch hunt. Witch, witch, burn, burn. P word, that's a hundred percent. Come on. Screw there. I mean, P words, uh, McJuggernuggets. I think you should look into what a pedophile actually is and what they do. It's extremely disturbing. Uh, sweet little old Emily just wanted to uh, finally go you into her. her beautiful self. However, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. So, you got McJuggernuggets who defended <laughs> Look at King, dude, like, I video. can't we'll play that this. later. I gotta get this shit together. But it's not just jokes. This is not just jokes, according to all these people. Well, what according up, to these people, I understand why some crowd might just claim that it's jokes. However, roll it. I thought that this was a joke because, like, at the time, Jesse kept trying to go viral on Snapchat, so I thought he was making, like, a stupid joke for, like, people to I, I really thought people were going to criticize him for it i thought it was stupid i thought that See, time out time time that's what i think this is right here myself i really at the end of the day i told you i told eric at the end of the day i said uh i honestly feel like jesse's willing to shoulder even the negative criticism you know what i mean it's almost like a school shooter somebody that goes in there and plat 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 for attention you know what I mean? No matter what, like that little kid that just goes outside and fucking starts throwing rocks at the fucking windows. Or more like that fucker that comes up and says, yeah, I'm the I'm the Zodiac killer. You know, just takes the blame, you know, for the boogeyman so that they can ha get a bit of attention. I understand, Tina. Like, no, I'm sorry. It's not. I'm not. I'm not. Am I? Am I? I'm not joking. Am I? Like, oh, you're talking about the whole or the whole deal. Like, well, I'm. You know, like, I don't know. The whole Jeff and Emily thing. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, I can. You know, I don't know. I, I couldn't watch. I feel, I feel bad. Like, let me tell you what. I did try to watch the, the Jeffrey Dahmer series on Netflix. And uh, and I couldn't do it, man. Like, honestly, I kind of felt, you know, it was like a, you know, I don't know. It was just like an awkwardness. I was like, ah, like, like, damn. And it was all, it was like, I just, I, I, it, it puts you in there. It really kind of puts you in like, like Jeffrey's shoes and shit. And then like, in like a gay bar quite frankly, dude, and uh, and it was kind of awkward, I went ahead, so much in fact that I pulled up the uh, uh, the director, and the director has done a lot of, uh, you know, and I didn't even really put two and two together, I didn't realize that, that Dahmer was, uh, he was targeting, not only was, I don't, I'm not so sure that Dahmer was necessarily homosexual himself, as he was uh, uh, you know, just hungry for any sort of like uh, uh, emotional from you know emotional contact from anything. Not even really that. Cause what? How do you want it? He wanted that body laid down on the bed. But it was just sad, you know what I mean, to see these uh, uh, these young these young men. You know what I mean? Targeted. You know what I mean for their stigmas. You know. Uh, 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 homosexuality and back in the day and shit you know it was oh man like fucking dad uh, dads were killing their sons over it dude in the closet was an understatement man you know and these people man they were they were very much operating on the fringes man not only on the fringes man on the you know the dark side of life guys and uh and uh some of them were being killed for it man it was uh, 
How many did he kill? Like 18 of them? God damn. One of the boys was actually 14 years old. Mm, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. A team's like, new topic. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. No, this ain't a new topic, neither, Tina. And this is where, this is some heavy stuff. You're going to post this? Like, you're going to, like, you're going to get in a lot of crap for it. Right? Well, so, yeah. So, anyway, like, I feel, I feel like Jesse is just willing to take any sort of, uh, attention that he can get, whether it's good or bad, you know, he's willing to damn roll the dice and uh, uh, hoping that it'll pop big, but it's, I think he thinks that he's going to be on good day today or some shit like that, you know, and it's just not going to happen. This video here ain't got but 33,000 views on it. Well done, Keen. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. Anyway, I think I, I'll stop that because I think this is actually a, a new channel. It's only got 14,000 subscribers. So I think it's got a, a, you know, this is a new channel. It's not the kind of, like, this is sketchy. Have you ever seen this guy without that hat on? Yeah, okay. Really? <laughs> That's what I thought was uh, Have you ever seen Michael without his hat on? Stop right there just to give the, the chat some context, right? McJuggernuggets uh, videos are scripted. They're fake. They're not real. What? Right? What do you mean they're fake? They're they're fake. They set it up. They stage it, right? Everybody knows this. Anyhow, when well, that's across Jesse the board. Was All telling kid behind the camera in a private phone call, according to him, that you know uh, Swift was coming out as a transgender. He thought it was a bit. He didn't think this was real. He thought this was like part of. Their Love you, Tina. Yeah, have a great you night. You call up another homie. Sorry and homie about tells this. you that the other homie heavy in your shit here. is transitioning. Wouldn't you start cracking jokes? Play. I hate this part of the story. Um, oh God! We made a lot of stupid responses. Look at back. dude. Like, look at the guy. I had, we said like, oh, Swift's gonna make an ugly woman, and yeah. I made a video. Look, I love it. Team. I kind of said the same thing to Jeff. Team, hold on a minute. I love we, it. We, okay. You have my Just girlfriend's because... sunglasses on right I, now. I do have I do have your girlfriend's sunglasses. What exactly does that mean right there? First off, yeah, what does that mean, King? What exactly did that supposed to mean? You have my girlfriend's sunglasses on first off. I mean, what does that mean? Is that supposed to be a dig? I, I take offense to that. I wear women's glasses. I wear women's sunglasses. I take offense. Ah, man, I'm writing to YouTube. I'm I'm going to everybody. I'm going to the I'm going to the state capitol about this one, motherfucker. I I I I am outraged. By the way, but I didn't like the way you were looking at me. I think I think we can. I think, I think you're acting up a little bit. No, see, here's here's. I what, want you to just be a tad more serious, but I'll exp You don't know. See, you don't know, and I'll and I'll explain it at the very end why this means. Uh, kind of a lot to me, and this scenario really pisses me off. Oh my god! Shut up, so team. Pick jugger nuggets? No, no. Well, I can't even answer that because we did have bad business. Me and Mick Jugger Nuggets. How many times have you have you heard uh, Keem get all uh, anti-gay on somebody, call people gay, bad, whatever? You know what I mean? Like, a, and here he is trying to. No, this man's a lot. Ah, I'm like Rosa Parks on this motherfucking subject. <laughs> Despite the fact that I'm a toxic ass fucking gamer who's probably fucking dropped. Oh my God. Been so freaking homophobic on damn Call of Duty. did have a bad business. Okay. But that has nothing to do with this. What I'm going to talk about at the end is completely different and it's related to this scenario okay can i also be honest here i i think we can cover this story in a in a normal way where maybe we can crack some jokes here and there right i also think that's type of fair with, uh, without you glancing over at me look at right? it they're fighting we, they're we fighting love it bt cures we both look, support look at trans look at king's little fat cheeks getting all red he looks like really a fucking garden gnome 
I think Chad well, is kind of playing you. Yeah, you're shut the fuck okay, up. You ain't pissed off. Saying, you are a okay, fucking see, no. You're, you're one of these phone I'm not that panders like to the audience. Pan you're really cares. You're, you're pandering. Bro, like, you're you're really pandering. pandering. I'm not pandering. I care about this. I know you do, but so do no, I. Don't. I just said Chad's clowning on me. I th for, I, for my opinion. No, I, I think care less. I think Chad is slowly taking on your mask right now. Now I, I I think we could cover this story while also making jokes about it, and and I think the the, uh, the audience and everyone will know that we are coming across as as allies here, Keem. Okay, I don't need to be reprimanded. Listen, it's a bad thing about we're what fighting here. over here. I love it's a it. Terrible thing. It's so Let's fucking play. good. At the same time, okay. Keem, Keem's a little bitch. Sam Robinson, what's the worst thing that you could think about Emily? From sorry, Swift. Oh, it's one of those things where I've apologized because at the time I thought it was a joke and I actually thought Emily was on the other side of the phone recording. When did you apologize, Michael? That. This is the first time I'm hearing of it. Gets me emotional. No, it doesn't. I, I oh, can't. Well, no, it does not get him emotional. Keem, please, please back me up on that. That does not, this does not make him emotional. He's a, he's two minutes into this video. This is the first time sadness has ever been up at his psyche here. I'm sorry, I can't sit here. Fake tears, like, fake tears. This is what I do know. I do know that kid behind the camera and Emily are close friends and they've been friends for years. And so kid behind the camera knows this scenario and how it's affected Emily. Where is it at? Hold okay, on, fake tears. Enough. But there's there's stuff behind the I, scenes. Uh, okay, there's stuff behind the scenes, and I. <laughs> Where's it at? There's more context here. He he's obviously broken up about it. Roll it. Emotional. I've apologized to Emily for this. Um, <clears throat> I've apologized to him. The oh second my Emily god! This is so fucking later, lame. The first thing that I did was I said, "I'm sorry. I already know because Jesse told me. I'm so proud of you." And I have some stuff to apologize for because I said a lot of stupid jokes and we said that. Yeah, like I didn't. Look at the guy. I just thought Jesse was just being Jesse, you know? So let's stop it there. So kid behind the camera oh, is God. so upset because he was also cracking jokes and stuff because he didn't think it was real. He didn't think it was serious. I understand that, so and he, I bet that he's I bet he's heartbroken about it. I don't think these but, are real tears. But, Come on, man. But this is yeah, a witness look. confirming that fake as fuck, Nick fake, fake, Trevor, fake, Emily. fake tears. Look, so look, 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 look the people in the one. fucking no chat, idea. everyone I, I watching, Michael, calling you out, the cameras, talking about your no fake ass what, fucking tears. Um, these workers have Not only saw, bro, and look at fucking, look at Garden Gnome team over here. He's like, ah. You really shut a damn. Prepped a little harder on that one because you look like a fucking fool. Old pancake making you look like a fucking fool right now, scheme star. Ha! How about that shit? Fucking uh, schemes, fucking co host, and all the chat called Michael out on his fake ass fucking tears. While Michael rolls on his, uh, uh, the oldest friend in the world to Michael. If this is in fact real, You know, and it's sad, man. Like, bro, like Juggernuggets, man. He was good to you. Hell yeah, I don't know. Not really. He's a piece of shit. He, he's getting his. He's just the next. He's he's just the next peg to fall. Michael, you're next. How how long before Michael? There was there was the great three. There was McJugger Nuggets, Boogie, and Kid Behind a Camera. Two of them are already gone. Michael's the last one that remains. And I'm about to bust Michael's ass in a lie right now. Because Michael likes to sit there and talk about, oh, I bought, I bought dad and grandpa a house. I gave grandpa a house. I gave Jennifer a house. No, you fucking didn't. Michael's been going around running his mouth telling fucking lies that people can find out for a dollar. How the fuck, Michael, you gonna sit there and talk, uh, run your mouth and talk shit and, and, and try to lie on your dick and on your wallet when all motherfucker gotta do is drop a buck into a website to find out who owns what, when, where, why. You'd be surprised the people that are sending me information 
So Erica, Erica pointed out to me that uh, one of the lies that Michael posted the other day. So Michael likes to sit there and talk about, oh my God, he, pay, he talks about how he bought Jennifer a house, he bought Grandpa a house, he gave Jennifer that 30 grand to renovate her house way back when. I gotta take a piss, hold on a second. Y'all chat amongst yourselves. Get a little warm. It's getting warm in here. It's getting warm in here. Hey, check it out. The adult Happy Meal. Did any of y'all get one? All I got with my adult Happy Meal was a box. I didn't get the toy, so. But I got the box. Did you know that there are four? The four, the four chicken, uh, chicken nugget shapes are ball. Boot, bone, and bell. I don't think I want to try the bone. It's not very appealing sounding. So anyways, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Michael claiming to have given the world to his whole family. So where are we at? Let me... Uh, I don't know why I got a, an ad going on right there. Let me go to my other account. My you where that's got YouTube premium. Yes, I pay for YouTube premium and Erica pays. We both have our own YouTube premium accounts. And make it somebody else's project. Make it somebody else's problem, Michael meant to say. So this is where we're gonna we're cutting into right here at the end of uh selling grandpa's house. I want to share with you all. Have a look. Um Selling Grandpa's house, um, getting into uh, the 20 minute and 34 mark where Michael uh, is pretty much talking about how it's not his fault that the house is trash to fuck and that they're just going to go ahead and get out from underneath it rather than um, uh, spend the money and shit. First off, Michael, you're a goddamn millionaire. Fix the motherfucker. You know, that shows you that Michael ain't no millionaire. Michael claims that he's got all this. Millionaires ain't fucking selling their shit off like, well, I guess they are. Not with their family in it. You look broke as fuck. All right, so let's see here. Anyways. And I don't have the time. We've got sick. She's tired and she just doesn't have the energy that it takes to. She went to the doctor. She Now it needs more work than. This is a sticky subject for me because. Before the guy came, the house was with him. <laughs> he just told her he knew what he was saying. Never actually does. He totally fucking disappeared. Twi was it at 24? To start looking good. Well, we don't have an answer to that question because we never saw him or the rest of the house. <laughs> okay, so we... Let me see. Hold on a second. Just a... Take some of that money that you get. And take us to Hall's Chop House. Okay, so at least you can. Okay, Jenny, okay, that's the least you can do. Guys, in the end, it's just a house. Let, let me show you yeah, how. it's just a location. Let me show you how much it's just a location. You see this? Oh, God, with that music. Erica, what was, what, what was the time stamp on that again? I don't want to have to go through it. Oh, God damn it. Hold on a second. Hey. Hello. What's that time stamp on that video again? Fourteen fifty. All right. Okie dokie. Fourteen fifteen, we believe. She was all the way in the very back in the bathroom. Eric is back there in the back corner of the bathroom getting naked. And hey, who the fuck is this weirdo right here? 
apparently this apparently this is like Johnny's new friend um and the guy makes people feel weird apparently this guy gives off we vibes I don't know hold on a second let me let me take care of my just my dis, this, this display it's fucking going up every 15 seconds goddamn 10 minutes how about that I pause it on this one right here and I'm not sure who the fuck this dude is but Apparently, he, he gives off weird vibes to people. Doug says that's Jennifer's ex. Says that's not Jennifer's ex. Somebody says it's her ex. Somebody says it's not. I mean, just because you banged Jennifer doesn't mean that you are her ex. I mean, if that was the case, she, she'd be uh, uh, exes with everybody in Somerville. Circle takes the square. Or X takes the square. 1450. Give me a scratchy scratch. Ha, <laughs> the best says that's Jennifer's weed man. I believe that's Jennifer's meth man. Okay, there it is. The house is listed. So they are right about Michael that. Q's the mute, uh, right the, the, the sad yes. piano. Angry Grandpa's house is for sale, but yep. no. I am not evicting my sister from it and making her and her children homeless <laughs> because I don't own this house. It's Guys, Jenny. This is Jennifer's house. I don't own it. I'm not getting any of the money for it when the house sells. She is because it belongs to her. That's what Grandpa wanted when he passed away, and that's what I did years ago. Guys, this is you hear what he just said? Gotcha, Michael. We're about to catch Michael in a fucking lie, dude. I'm about, I'm about to drop the bomb on Michael's fat fucking ass. Says he signed this he over to for it when the house years sells. ago, he she said. Is because it belongs to her. That's what Grandpa wanted when he passed away. And that's what I did years ago. Guys, <laughs> this is not my house. This is too bright. Okay. Years ago. Like I said, once again, Michael, don't go around telling lies that people can find out the truth to for just a dollar. So I started getting messages from numerous people, guys. If y'all will remember, I posted a couple about a week ago. Somebody sent me some property tax information. I was like, oh, what is this? If you'll have a look right here, owner of 142 Harvest Way, Somerville, South Carolina, as of 01-22-222, Michael Green, paying the annual tax of $2,688.25. Now, Michael, you claim that you fucking signed that damn trailer over to Jennifer years ago. How come your name is on it right here? Uh, as of 122-2022. Mm -hmm. What's the appraised value of that thing, by the way? They're trying to sell it for $199 right now. Appraised value of $113,872. Haha, <laughs> Nene said, oop. Morticia says, busted. Where you at, Morticia? Where you at? Come here, God damn you. Hold on. <laughs> Add Morty right there. Sorry about that. Hey, Morty, I see you got fat ass mad as fuck right now. Talking about you're trying to get involved with him and Nicole or some shit or another. Or like, who gives a fuck, fat fuck? Well, man, still keep, keep trying to get involved, man. Like, fucking fuck their shit up. Of course, we ain't got to fuck it up because they're going to fuck it up. So anyways, I got that information the other uh, about a week ago or something. And I was like, oh, shit. So fucking. Um, uh, so Michael actually, uh, you know, owns the house. He never sold it to Jennifer. I'm like, oh, shit. So I went on live. I went on Facebook. I went on Twitter and I was like, boom. How come I'm looking at, you know, tax shits of Michael owning grandpa's house? What the fuck? Not Jennifer, Michael. Despite the fact that you didn't told everybody that you signed the papers, the, the, the trailer over to Jennifer years ago. I felt, I was like, holy shit, I got it. 
Michael owns the trailer. Now, other people were hitting me up. Other people were hitting me up and they're like, yo, Charlie, Jennifer owns the trailer. Michael signed it over. Michael signed it over to Jennifer's. You know, he doesn't have own it. It's hers now. You're wrong. And I'm like, well, how the fuck am I wrong whenever I'm sitting here looking at papers? You know what I mean? And I'm looking like he paid for the uh, the taxes for tax year 2021, right? Have a look. Let's, I mean, I, I, went, I went and I looked at all the little numbers and everything. Tax year 2020. 21 and shit. Now, okay, that was 2021. I mean, the, the receipt is still uh, uh, dated, uh, you know, 122, 2022. Like, what the fuck? Like, it just, it, it wasn't adding up. I'm like, yo, so I'm believing, you know, by, you know, what the tax documents say. I can't go by what other people are telling me that Jennifer owns it. So I believe that Jennifer did own it, right? I mean, no, that Michael did own it, that he didn't sign it over to Jennifer. And that turned out to not be the case. I was like, oh, shit. Kind of find out Jennifer does own the tax records. I got a message here from the same person who sent me a, a notice saying that, you know, that Michael paid the taxes and uh, uh, it was in his name. A couple of days later, sent me another one and saying, hey, look, it's in Jennifer's name. Boom. Later, Wesley. Have a great night, man. Now it shows up as being in Jennifer's name. With uh, uh, status unpaid. Uh, for the amount of $3,151 that Jennifer owes. Unpaid. Michael, how about that shit? Michael uh signed the trailer over to Jennifer, paid his paid the, the, the previous year taxes, and then left her with a fucking bill for over three grand. Stacy is here, says he only signed it over because she wanted to sell it. Other than that, he wouldn't have signed it over. And you might be right. So there we have it. Jennifer does. Right here, it says that Jennifer does own the trailer. So, so I'm like, man, what the fuck then? So I guess Jennifer does own it. Michael did, uh, you know, sign it over to her. I'm like, I'm kind of confused here. When, you know, Michael says that it happened years ago. I signed that trailer over to Jennifer years ago. No, you didn't. And I've got the timeline right here to prove it. So. As of uh, 1 13, 2004, it got signed over from an Albert Klassen to a Toy Duval. Oh, I'm looking, I'm looking the wrong way. Here you go, I'll let you guys have a look and then we'll go over. Here you go. Here are the, here's fucking, here's who owned it before Michael. Here's who sold it to Michael. It was, if you notice, uh, it was not signed over to dad. This trailer was never in dad's name. What do y'all think? Michael said he bought dad a house. He gave dad a house. No, you didn't. You bought yourself a house and you let dad live in it. That trailer was in your name ever since. Uh, uh, December or uh, June 7th. No, uh, 06, 06, 07, 06, July 7th, July 6th, 2015. You never gave dad a trailer. You never gave, put nothing in. That was not dad's trailer. That was your fucking trailer. And then if you take a look right here, where's it at? Uh, let, oh, hold on, I read this. 11 9, no, 11 29, 2021. Okay, so a little less than a year ago, not, not even a fucking year ago. He probably sold it to Jennifer for Christmas. Here you go, Jenny. Merry Christmas. Sold it to her for five dollars. Have a look. 
Sold it to Jennifer for a, for a five dollar bill. I, I still think she overpaid. Eleven twenty nine, twenty twenty one. Michael said that he signed that trailer over to Jennifer years ago. He fucking lies. He claims that he gave uh, that thirty thousand dollars to Jennifer as a gift. Bullshit. He had her put that thirty thousand dollars into that trailer while it was still in his name. Well, hold on. When was this video? Kid behind a camera. Twenty k. Giving twenty thousand dollars to my sister. That he, he said that you know for her to use for uh, 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 renovations and shit two years ago. He owned that fucking trailer two years ago. He gave Jennifer twenty thousand dollars to renovate his shit. Oh my god, guys, that's the fucking worst. That is hardcore. Oh my God. Sure as shit. It was never in dad's name. It was never in Jennifer's name up until recently. I don't know. I mean, like, Michael, you didn't think people would go in there and look this shit up? Should have looked it up way back when. Michael tries to act like a caring, loving brother, giving. He gave his sister $20,000 to renovate his fucking trailer. <laughs> and they did. They renovated it. If you look, you'll see. Uh, let's go back to Zillow. Let's go ahead and show you Jennifer's pictures again of the house. Let's go back to Zillow. <laughs> oh, it says I want I weighed in at 153. Fuck, I bet I weigh 163 right now. Y'all want to do a live weigh in? Y'all want to see what I weigh right now? I don't I don't want to see what I weigh. I bet I weigh 161. Where is the Zillow? Here we go. So they did the renovations. I don't know what though, honestly. <laughs> you know, twenty grand doesn't stretch doesn't spread stretch out too far. But they did. They put in new ta new counters and shit. Those aren't the same counters. Uh, they took the, uh, uh, the, the center island out. Um, um, yeah, let me see. Let me go back to Twitter. What are you sending me? Oh yeah, I got you, Legion. Yeah, I saw, I saw it. It's just another. It's just another t uh, tax thing right here, you know, showing the exact date that Michael signed the, uh, the 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 deed over to Jennifer, November thirtieth, twenty twenty one. Damn, look at my thumb. Gross. It's a working man's thumb right there, guys. Hmm. Ah, ah, ah. Smells like my butt. All right. So, anyways. <laughs> so, anyways. Um. Yeah. I like. I like this format better, though. I like this format better, though. Sold it to Jennifer for five dollar. The Dago, Dago dad says, I bet, I'll bet he don't sign your mom's place over to her. I wonder, I wonder if we can, uh, I've still got mama's address. If anybody wants to drop, I'll drop the dollar. See if Michael, see if mom owns her trail. I know mama don't. Absolutely not. Mom already told me that she don't own that place and that she was going to move out, blah, blah, blah. So there you have it. 
Michael's a lying, cheating piece of shit. I still can't get over the fact that he gave Jennifer 20 grand to fix up his shit. So horrible. And yeah. And that's been about it that's been going on. I like Jesse says, I hope Tina is doing okay. I really worry about her and have for freaking years. I mean, I feel you, bro, man. I was thinking about mom the other day. Or I'm always thinking about mom, you know. Mom's always kind of had her issues, you know, and her ups and downs and shit, you know. And, you know, being, uh, you know, controlled and shit the way that she is, you know. It, you know, it, it doesn't breathe, it does it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, it's not good for your, your mental health, you know what I mean? And mom just being put, you know, in a box, you know, and just used when, you know, when Michael feels like it and shit, you know, and, 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 and controlled emotionally and shit, it's, 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 I'm sure it's rough on her, you know? But I'll just send you some, some kind, loving, uh, uh, Energy your way, mom. I did that the other day. I just, I imagined thinking about Skylar because Skylar's turning 18 this month and I hope that she comes to see me. There's no guarantee that she will, man, but I'm really hoping that she does, man. And, uh, and, uh, I mean, I just, I was sitting at a, at a stop sign or at a red light and I was just thinking about her, you know, and I was just like taking all this positive energy and I was just like imagining myself just physically pushing it out there too or just storing it in and I, I literally felt like a push like a mm, pushed out pushed all my fucking positive energy and emotion and shit that i can her way out into the ethos you know what i mean towards her soul wherever it may be you know what i mean because i felt like maybe it was coming back to me you know i felt like it came to me and i fucking radiated it back out you know what i mean it's some real spiritual shit that i'm on right now <laughs> you know a real spiritual type thing, you know, attempt or whatever, you know, and, uh, you know, it, if anything, what's the harm in it? What's the harm in feeling good and trying to radiate positive vibes and energies into the world? Honestly, you know what I mean? There's enough, there's enough negative energy and shit out there, you know what I mean? To choke a cat, choke a pack of cats with, you know? And hell, I've been sent enough tonight towards Michael and them. I try to balance it out, though. <laughs> I try to balance it out, though, man. I just, cause, cause I feel it, you know what I mean? Like, and I'll acknowledge it, you know, that the drama and the bullshit is not good for anybody, you know. It 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 it, it is poison for the soul, you know. And you gotta you gotta break that shit up, man. You gotta do some good to balance out all the bad and shit, you know. Of course, I don't necessarily feel like I'm doing much bad here. Do you all like? I mean, I'm just simply exposing a narcissist, egotistical uh, 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 um, uh, predator for who they really are. You know what I mean? I don't feel like I'm doing anything negative. Uh, I mean, it's negative, but it's not bad. You know, it's for the good. So. But anyway, well, we got an hour and a half on here, guys. We got to go to work tomorrow. Um, I got I to gotta cook dinner tonight. And yeah, hang out with my lady a little bit, you know, before uh, before work. Nurture that relationship. You know, you, you look Fatty's way. You look Michael and Bridget's way, you know, and you're going to you're going to find an example, a fine example of how not to uh, 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 nurture a relationship, how not to uh, 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 conduct yourselves uh, 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 um, with those you love, how not to build a relationship, you know, um, because swinging is not the answer, sorry, it's not, um, alternative lifestyle is fine, but I'm telling you, man, go ahead and check out the uh, do do the studies. 
You know, the uh, the, the that swinging tends to freaking break up more than than uh, uh than it creates. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, and then with Fatty and Nikki, you know what I mean? Like, you know, what is that old? How's that old saying go? What did Bod say from uh, uh Far Cry Three? You know, what's the definition of insanity? You know, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, how long have y'all tried, Nikki and Fatty? 10 plus years? 2017 wasn't a very particularly good year for you guys, was it? You know, and at, after a certain amount of time, you just got to understand, you know, the damage that has been done. The losses that that must be caught, uh, accepted and cut, and you got to move on because, um, you know, women get killed by their husbands every day. Women lose their fucking shit and go drown their children. Go Susan Smith and drown their children. Not every day, thank God. But I wouldn't be surprised to see Nikki do that shit with her children. Next thing you know, you see that gold minivan, ass in. Floating in the fucking middle of the beach. What's that beach that they took the children to? Haha, <laughs> David James says YouTube welfare pig. Straight up. You know? And Isaac, you've already admitted yourself that she is this violent individual to whom you cannot trust your children around. And you're bringing her back in the house. But like I say, man, you know, like, it's not if, it's when it goes down next. And you guys can uh, mark my words. Put it on your calendar. What's today's date? October 9th, 6.04 p.m. I give it six months. Before all hell has broken loose. Because like I say, dude, uh, 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 the sludge has been spilled. You know what I mean? And and they're not going to like, you know, the, the trolls ain't going to sit there and, and let them enjoy their newfound love, which I'm sure is not there. You know, it's more it's basic. Oh, what is this? Isn't Nikki uh, got a warrant out for her arrest right now? Is Fatty hiding, hiding a, a, a convict, a, a fugitive? Where were you at? Let's see. Where is this warrant at? He's got a. Doesn't she have a warrant out for her arrest here, buddy? Where is it at? Like she didn't show up for court or some shit like that. I can't. Oh, man. Like I don't. It's kind of hard for me to read these arrest records and shit like that, man. Like I try to stay out of trouble. Look, Lazy Bomb says, yep, she's got a fucking warrant out for her arrest. Y'all go ahead and pause it and y'all read it for me. There you go. What's that? Let's see here. Oh, bench warrant letter. 9-28-2022. Have a look, guys. She got a fucking bench warrant letter out on her ass. As of 9 25 2022. Well, hey, didn't we see a picture of her at Fatty's house? Didn't we see a picture of her back over there at 805? Lowry, maybe the police should go out there and do a little checky checking, huh? Maybe the maybe the cupcake bandit can go back out there and get some pictures for the court. Because for one, she's got a warrant now. And for two, uh, isn't the, uh, I wonder if the, I wonder, I don't know, but I wonder if the no contact is still in order. What do you think, uh, lazy bum? Is that no contact still in order? Is she technically not supposed to be there? She can go back to jail for that too. Besides the fact that she's got a warrant out for her arrest. Fatty done took a picture of a, of, a, of a, a, uh, a fugitive in his house. I think that that is uh, grounds for... Does anybody got that picture saved up? 
I'd call up the damn police department right now, and I would say that that I just found a pic that he just posted a picture of her at the house. I'd go ahead and take that picture and say that it's new. I wouldn't say he did it last weekend. I'd say he did it today. That he that he shared it today. That you have reason to believe that there is a violent fugitive around those children. What do y'all think? Kai and Kendra says she couldn't make it on her own, I guess. Nope, she couldn't. She couldn't keep a fucking man. I guess, I guess what's his face? The Rock wised the fuck up and got what he wanted and took the fuck off. Ha! Just another girl to hit your, just another guy to hit your girl and run, fatty. Ha ha ha! Ha! Grayson says if you call the cops, you a snake. Then, then I'm a motherfucking snake, brah. Yeah. I'm a scary, slippery snake. Uh. Hey, I don't call the cops out, man. My people will do it. I, I don't give a fuck. You know, man, you just we just playing we just playing the game, bro. This is the fucking game, yo. Kai and Kendra says, "What's the number? Where's Fatty at? Is Fatty still in Westmoreland?" Westmoreland Police Department. Is it the Westmoreland? Like, like, man, you know, like, really, like, call them up, bro. Like, cause for real, honestly, like, then, like, I don't know, I don't know how, I don't know if you consider this snaky or not, but if you know that there is a violent convict slash fugitive being harbored, being harbored around small children, Is it snaky for you to call the police to protect those children? You heard how many times Fatty himself, you know, bore witness and testimony to Nikki's violent and uh, unpredictable, erratic behavior around those children. You heard yourself. Let me see. Where's this video? <laughs> Green Mask, do you have that video? Uh, Isaac Gas Nikki abuse. So all you gotta do is type that in. Where where Nikki talks about her children. Where's the video with uh, 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 Nick, uh, uh, little Isaac talking about how his mother beats him in the back? Uh, Grudge Racing says, yeah, but the fugitive isn't her. How do you know the fugitive isn't hurting the kids? That fugitive could be sitting in the bathroom right now getting drunk on goddamn mouthwash. There ain't even got to be liquor in the fucking house. This, this fucking fugitive has been known to ingest chemicals that have alcohol in them in order to reach a drunken state. She's done it with a Japanese cooking wine. Can do it easy with fucking mouthwash. The fucking bar is right next door. Even if this even if this violent fugitive isn't being violent and attacking the children right now, who's to say it's not gonna happen 10 hours from now? Sorry, I'm yelling. Sorry, I apologize. Just trying to drive it home a little bit. Who's who's to say that this individual is not gonna fucking go get wasted while Fatty's asleep? Oh yeah, the warden. The warden is out for the night. Now Nikki can just go slip on over to the damn uh, uh, to the Seven Eleven real quick and grab her a four loco, and then all hell begin. Got herself all drunk up, and now she's thinking about how all the bullshit that I pulled on her about all the all, all the nights, all the pedophile and a bad mother. Because her son's on damn video saying that she beats him in the back. It's going to happen and I'm just waiting for it. Ha <laughs> ha. And I'll stir the shit pot. It's going to happen. just a matter of when. Fatty may not even damn 
Tell us about it. We'll have to find it. Well, he, of course, he won't tell us about it, man. How many times have they gotten in trouble with the law between each other? And we've had to find out through uh, uh, search records. Thanks, Cooter Wrinkle. Appreciate that. Oh, God. Like, if, if I walked downstairs and I showed you what our downstairs looks like right now. Oh, God. What she has let it become with her laundry. Like, she, she, she doesn't even do laundry anymore. She doesn't, even, she doesn't even do laundry anymore. She does en- She does just enough to get by. Stanley! There's nowhere to walk downstairs right now. It's a sea of clothes and just crap. Literally. Literally. You know, look, Come look on. at that. That's only a taste of what the kitchen looks like. Fuck. That's, that's only a taste of what the kitchen looks like. Ugh. Literally. You know, look, look at that. That's only a taste of what the kitchen looks like. That, that's only a taste of what the kitchen that's looks Nikki's like. That's right Nikki's work right there. And Isaac, that's you too. You know, and it's like, I can't fucking do it all, man. Like. You don't do jack shit. You know, Shut like, up. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I can't. Yeah, so much, man. How embarrassing. How utterly fucking embarrassing. And they're going to have to live with that shit. Because no one's going to fucking let them live it down. Nobody likes fatty anymore. You know, slob mob is at an all-time fucking low. And, you know, the fucking, the tracks have been made, have been laid. And uh, now all it is is for fatty to go on over him. On his way out of fucking town. While you're while people that used to be your friends kick your ass on the way out, riding you on a pole out of town. And I think it's about time. So here is the warrant division. Go, go ahead and call them up, let them know. Show them the picture of Nikki at Isaac's house around the children. Let them know that you know she's she's got the she's got the warrant out for her arrest. And uh, yeah, James Albert. He looks like a nice guy. He'll be happy to help you out. Do you have any more information that you might want to share with him about these public menaces? Yeah. Let it be known. So, anyways, I get off here, guys. I gotta pee. Um, get, like I said, get ready for work and shit. I've dropped all my bombs for now, and uh, whew, feeling good. Y'all go ahead and watch this up. Let it play over three or four or five times. Let's go ahead and get those viewed hours back in, so uh, we can get monetized again and make a little bit of money. Hopefully, in time for Christmas, man. I want to buy Eric a nice gift. For Christmas, and I want you all to help me. <laughs> I'm joking a little bit. I'm joking mostly. <laughs> it's always nice to have a little extra, though, right? So we'll try that, guys. And uh, and yeah, uh, thank you all for you know supporting, man. You know where are we at right now? Where are we at right now? We are at fucking almost a thousand subscribers already, dudes. It's been what uh, the channel's only been up. What a week now, week and a half or something. 769 subscribers. Got to have a thousand and what 250 hours of view time. So uh, uh, yeah, we'll get we'll get the subscribers. But y'all go ahead and watch this a couple of times and uh, help us out with those view hours, man. Show us some love. And uh, yeah, I'll always show you guys nothing but love back. You know, in the form of openness, honesty, transparency. And uh, ass kicking, you know what I mean? Living life, uh, succeeding, uh, thriving, uh, and standing up to the bullshit, you know what I mean? And uh, blowing the bullshit up in their fucking faces like never before, you know what I mean? It's got to be fun to watch, huh? So, oh, where's Dago at? I'm sorry, bro. 
Let me get the Dago in. Let me get the Dago in here. There you are right there. So, all right. Anyways, guys, I love you all. Thank you all for watching. Dougie, Dago, Nini, Sharon, uh, Kai, and Kendra. Um, uh, who, else are, who else do I got in here? Lazy Bum, Bronx Born, Stacy's here. Oh, God, I'm making stew. Oh, God. I might have done something wrong there. Oh, God, I got to go. I love you guys, man. Have a great night. Woo! <laughs>